Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in my previous video, I have shared that one need to be able to handle the breathing before one can handle the qi handling. And many of our friends messaged me asking me to share more on these details. So in this video, I like to clear the entire thing up for you so that you know exactly what is going on and you'll be able to develop real Kung Fu. Now, we need to start from a uh, very basic. We often heard people say, Wing Chun is easy to study, but difficult to master. Easy to learn and difficult to master. Well, is that true? Well, in the reality, that is not true. Wing Chun is very difficult to learn. And also, it is not easy to master. There's a reason for past 130 years, very rare people have mastered even just the Xiu Lin Tao sets. Now, why is this problem or this tragic in the past 130 years for Wing Chun? Even if we just look at the Xiu Lin Tao set, not talking about fighting or anything, just the very simple Xiu Lin Tao sets. Why is it that in past 130 years until today, that set cannot deliver. Well, the reason that happened is the ancient Chinese have the proper theory and proper practice proper theory one need to know so one be able to know the cause and effect of the training and be able to get result and be able to avoid problem that's why you need a proper theory With the proper theory, one need to practice it properly. It's like uh, when we fix, say, the wheel of a car, we need to follow the instructions properly, how to fix it so that it is accord to the design. So you need the proper theory and proper practice. But you look around for past 130 years in Wing Chun. There is no proper theory there. It is up for everybody thinking. It's up for everybody's interpretations. And then they are using like a lineage history, uh, folk story, and all sort of stuff try to validate their theory. Oh, this is what Hendrik said. Oh, this is what Yip Kam said. So there is no proper theory there. So how do you know what you're going to get? The same is the practice. It becomes mimicking something. And then after 130 years, everybody going around mimicking somebody and uh, 
try to be creative and change the motion, uh, the, 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 the movement here, change the movement there. But what is this about? You really don't know. So you can see that people will say, oh, uh, this move look like Tai Chi, look like white crane, look like Hakka martial arts. But what is this about? Then everybody go doing whatever they want. And you end up that you really do not have an art. So it is not valid to saying, hey, you know, this is be, uh, belong to this lineage. This is how this lineage teach. This is how this lineage teach. Uh, this is who, which grandmaster and so forth. It is not valid at all because those stuff cannot validate whether it is technically proper or not. Theoretically, it's proper or not. Or practically, it, it is proper or not. It's just like, let me share with you this. If I start this by saying, I am the fourth generation from Red Boat. Uh, sorry, I'm the fifth generation from the Red Boat. So what does it mean? So you can have all those stuff which grandmaster teach me and everything, but it doesn't validate whether this, the, the theory of practice and the practice itself is proper or not. Now the Chinese do have a proper practice theory. And it, do, it does have the proper practice, which one need to know. So that is what is not presented in past 130 years. Why do we know? You see people doing this kind of thing. You see people leaning back like that. You see people lifting anus and all those kind of stuff. Now, the reason for the six core element is because I am an engineer. So I classified, organized the entire thing in the six core element. But six core element is just one thing. So it's just like an elephant. You need to know different parts of the elephants. But you need to know that this is an elephant. This is not six elephant. Only one know that way, one be able to develop something from the 1850s Shulim Town sense. Or else you cannot do it. Now, the first thing of the practice of the Wing Chun Xiu Lim Tao 1850 is the body handling, every joint handling. So as in my book, which is in Amazon, Basic Wing Chun Art and Science, which introduced this six core element and 13 state, one need to know about like every joint, is the joint open up? Is the joint linked together? One need to really know it is and be able to handle it that way. If I want my joint to be opened up, I know how to make it open. Okay, so the body has to, the minimum you know the joints opening, every joint, opening and uh, linking, you need to know that. Now for past 130 years, even the, just the first one 
it is problematic. Why? You practice your Xiu Ling Tao. You see people always bending their, their wrists. How is that supposed to practice your Xiu Ling Tao, bending your wrist here, be able to develop that Kung Fu in details of the ancient? You can because you actually deadlock this thing. And then you or you hold on this one, your knee, or all different weird way. You are holding your body, physical body, without even know how the body function. How is it going to work? We know that human body is is uh, life and dynamic. You know that we need to be able to know whether the, the joint is open up, loosen up, or tightening in, and how to link them so that we can do different stuff. But it is not. It is like this. And then it's just like this. Like a few months ago, I was complaining the Canton Wushu Associations create a, a, a Wing Chun set. And the set is doing this kind of thing. How is it supposed to work even in the physical element? We don't even have to talk about Chinese. We talk about today's science. Agronomic. You you violating those left and right. So how are you going to develop your body? Just compare with the agronomic and sports science. You know it's a disaster. You know that is not a court to proper theory. Now the second thing is for the sixth core element, the second element is mind. First, you need to be able to handle your body, be able you be able to uh, using your mind. Why? If I keep being tensing like this, will I be able to loosen up my nervous system? I can. I am in the, if I keep tensing that I'm in this hurry, 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 hurry type of uh, uh, stress inside there with my nervous system. How am I supposed to know what is quiet down? What is aware? What is listening? You can. And so what is quiet down? Is that quiet down? I hold on to all those very, very uh, uh, stress, physical posture, and then inside that suppress the hell out of everything called quiet down? Well, sorry. The ancient Chinese be the Lao Zhi, Tao De Jing or other Qigong stuff. You know what is quiet? What is silence mean? Quiet and silence simply mean you keep everything with this in balance. Within balance. Okay? Not unbalanced. You keep everything within the balance. Meaning that, for example, if you quiet down your mind, you make everything within balance, dynamically, not holding anything. That is quiet. So things can flow, in other words, if you quiet down, because everything is within the balance. It's not you tip on one side. When you do that, that is tip on one side. 
Now, there's the mind. You go to the breathing. If you don't have the proper body handling, the mind quiet down, you using your awareness, you cannot breathe. You do that, you cannot breathe. You do that, you cannot breathe. You, you're lifting your anus, you cannot breathe. That's why you cannot have the lower abs breathing that is going to influence your oxygen intake and also it's going to influence your intra-abdominal pressure. When you got up to that level and you say, I'm going to practice Yulim Tao for one hour until I'm sweating. What are you doing? You stress the heck out of the entire body. You're creating damage in your body. You put like that, your knee. Today people study the knees. You know that is problematic. As soon as when this thing is bent over here, those are problematic. When the mind is in the stress, your nervous system is stressed, your heart rate go high. And when you're in the stress thing here, you, you, you will not be able to develop in the low abs breathing, the natural low abs breathing. You're keeping tightening the thing. Your intra-abdominal pressure, handling is problematic. So, you got a problem. And then also, somebody will say, oh yeah, we just do it in the Tai Chi way. Soft. Well, what is that? That, that Tai Chi way and soft anything anyway? Is it a dance? Do you develop the physical so that you be able to accelerate when you need it? You develop your mind so that you really be able to focus and aware instead of start scattering around like a dance guy. Do you ever even be, uh, develop your breathing? Look at those people who do Tai Chi Wei. How is their body, their core, weaveling, waggling? Where, where you see that the Lei Lei, the Tai Chi expert, when he fights Xi Xiao Dong, look at how his core, the entire thing breathing, is scattering apart. So there's breathing. Now, only after this, you can handle your body, your mind, your breathing, your quiet down. Then, you are sensitive enough to handle the sensations of the body when you moving your body, like you're moving your body. When you're moving your, say, your arm out, your body, the entire body move with it. If you inhale, what happened? If you exhale, what happened? You can actually sense your body. The sensations there to see that it seems that if I inhale, when I exerting force, I increase the pressure there and it doesn't flow anymore. You have all those sensations or you'll be able to monitor those pressure within like a flow of water. Those are the chi flow of basic. Or you'll be able to send and then 
you can sense like when you are breathing your pore of every of your pore of your skin is is expanding and contracting those minute minute stuff that is the chi element level you don't have the first four uh, first three body mind breathing you cannot get to the fourth because either your physical is going to disturb you your mind handling is going to disturb you or your breathing or your intra-abdominal pressure is going to disturb you you cannot get that So this is the very basic of the handling for health. Now, on top of this, when you want to deal with strength, when the strength comes in action and reaction force, if you have the first four developed, then you are really sensitive on it. When the force, the pressure come in, you're really sensitive on it. And then when you want to develop the fifth element, which is the momentum handling, if you have all the, the first five, body, mind, breathing, the chi flow, and the force flow, then you know that when you use your core to generate this strength, to exert this strength, what is efficient and effective? What is not efficient and not effective? And when you know you know that when you move your hand outward, your body, other part of the body has to move with it. Your mind, your breathing, your chi flow, your force flow, your momentum. As we share just now, all the six core element is one, and it have different states. One need to be able to handle. So this is the proper theory in the ancient China practice. A universe proper theory I just do in American way Silicon Valley way using engineering okay you just split this into six but it is one and now you have the sequence of you know how to develop them and you need to know every states of the elements So that is no such thing as Qi Gong, Nei Gong, uh, Fa Jing, and all this kind of thing, which is really superficial. If you go through the six core element, you can go to any universities, biomechanics or physiological labs to test out whether have you have the handling of that part of your body or not. See, the student, like usually people having their student and you see that, you see, I can fly you and all this kind of stuff. Those are not the reference. You want to go reference, go to the research lab. Scientific. Okay. You want to generate the momentum, test it out. You want to handle your force flow. Test it out, see how much you can handle the strength before it breaks down. Well, it will break down because we are just human. Humans have limitations. You want to handle the breathing like the other day I shared with you. You can have the 360 degree and all this measure. You want to know how much oxygen intake, everything I, I shared with you before. You, you know your lung volume, you, you, you can measure SpO2, VO2 max. 
And you can measure that, okay, when I go forward, is this knee straightened out with my leg, or I go doing this, or I'm going to doing that, which is, you're going to screw that knee. So this is the truth. That's why I say 130 years is a tragic. In 130 years, we are using us as the reference instead of science. Oh, my lineage says so. My grandmaster says so. My uh, grand grand teacher is the king of Wing Chun. It says so. Or I talk with my hand, not talk with my mouth. My fish is bigger than you. I can beat you. So that's the reference. None of this can validate what is the reality. Because none of this have anything to do with the proper theory of ancient Chinese and have nothing to do with science or sport science today. That's why you got people to laugh at you today, like like uh, Xi Xiaotong laughing at you. Or other sports science, MMA player laughing at you. It's not scientific. That happened in Asia. So the reality is Six core elements or not, one need to follow the proper theory and practice of the ancient Chinese and validate with science. That is the safest way for everybody to grow. Telling people, I am the fifth generation from uh, Red Boat or I'm the fourth generation from Red Boat, it really not validate anything at all. So this is why I like to share with you. My word is straight. Obviously, most people might not like it. Unless if you really want to develop the real Kung Fu, you might not like it. And so as Tang Hao say 100 years ago, if you want to go to the mentality of the boxer labrian cult, then you're going to be a kind of cult. So Tang Hao in 1930s already predicted where Chinese Kung Fu can go. Uh, the, the, the tragic is for past 130 years of Wing Chun, Today we can see which directions it is going. So this is what I like to share with you. If you don't go six core element or the equivalent of the six core element, which is based on the ancient Chinese proper teaching and the science. It's guaranteed it's going, not going to go anywhere. It's guaranteed your Shulim Tao never works properly. In fact, it even can be damaging. So this is what I'd like to share with you to make this thing clear. And so there are no borders, qigong, neigong, qi, mind, power, all this kind of thing. You want to develop the real kung fu of Xiu Lim Tao? That's what it is. If you don't want, do whatever you like. 